Here we are with Canel Zone 2, or CZ2 if you want to go live by its literal map name. Uh, it was the game's original control point map when it launched. And I think it's a little bit unappreciated. Um, it doesn't, it's not, you know, quite as played as, uh, you know, 2-4 or even like, you know, Well and like, you know, Dust Bowl and stuff like that. But I always think of like the classic Team Fortress classic maps and this is right up there. Um... It is a little bit daunting in terms of when you first play it. it. Like, you know, it's a little bit like the layout isn't exactly obvious. Even with, you know, if you're not one to pay attention to the signs that are sprinkled around, you might get lost. But, you know, keep your bearings. You'll figure out how to do this one pretty quick. So, first of all, I, I want to have a drum roll because can you believe it? I'm actually playing one of these maps. I'm making a map video with a full 32 bots. Can you believe me? I actually recommend playing a map with a full server. Unreal, right? You know, I, I can't believe it either. I actually like spanked myself for that kind of thought Anyway, so here's your spawn. I don't need to tell you what that's about So if you want to play this map, you got to go to the control center first and you have this like actual like real-time sort of map Here you have you obviously the five control points here now What you got to do is you got to grab one of these flags. and You got to take it to one of the um, Control points obviously the thing is though when you're holding these flags you actually move at half speed so, you know, you can't take something like the heavy weapons guy and, like, take these flags because you're going to be moving so slow. You'd sooner get to the moon before you'd get to, like, these fucking flags of the control point. I mean, you'd be heavily defended, sure, but then, this, like, you know, enemy snipers are going to be picking you off. So you want to pick, you know, obviously, scout, you know, your medics, and maybe even the soldier just because even if they move slow... They got a decent amount of firepower and maneuverability still, but, like, look at this guy. You know, anything's, like, you know, you're going to be moving slow, so don't ever pick the heavy weapons guy. Because even with the amount of, like, firepower on you, it's just not going to work. I don't even know if I'd really recommend the soldier, but still, you might want to try. Anyway, so from here, like I said, you got the maps telling you where the various, like, control points are. But again, first-time players might not be paying attention too much. So, you know, you'll, you'll have to take a little while to figure it out. You got a nice little sniper point here. And uh, this is what I meant with this map being a little bit overwhelming because you got a lot of different air, like ways to... Del it looks like you have multiple routes to go, and you most certainly do. But essentially, the sewers is not for, like, capturing. You can't take these. The canal, sorry. I don't know why the hell I'm calling it the sewers. The, um... The canal is mostly for, like, you know... You know, trying to attack and stuff like that and be sneaky and for your spies and stuff. It is not for your flag carrying because if you're going to try to take a flag here, you know, you're going to have to go up an extra way anyway. And frankly, you're going to get shot at and wrecked But by the time you get, like come through here and try to take one of the, like, your flags to the, like, you know, the control points. So anyway, talking about the control points, if you want to get to, well, we'll go with the blue, but, you know... You know, obviously, control point one, the equivalent is control point five for the red team. So just flip the numbers around. To get to command point one is really easy, and it should be the first, like, you know, like, you command, you go, oh, pfft. first command point you kind of go for for any of these, like, for your team here. Nice, easy, nice little, like, you know, path of least resistance. Uh, a lot of places you play, like, you know, sentry guns or defend from and, like, throw, like, you know, the. You know, proximity grenades down and stuff like that. There it is. Now, if you already got that, like if you say like you had two people coming and one point grabs, well, you know what you do? You go keep going from here, and this is how you get to command point three. Command point three is obviously where a lot of the action's gonna be, and probably the hardest of the points to capture, which makes sense. Command point three. That's like the the central most point for any either of the team. Lots of various points to snipe, to put down sentry guns, you know, should you be soldier, be heavy weapons guy, defend. Really hard time. Now, the middle point, most points, which, you know, this is your, the alternate little way to get to command point three. Which looks like it might war be easy, really easy to get into, but it's going to not be. Because, again, sentry guns are going to blow your ass up immediately if you're not careful. But, but, but let's back up a little bit and get to command point, control points two and four. Which you can get from the, like, kind of canal areas here. Uh, this looks like it's going to be easy. But remember, 
You got people conk jumping here, or like engineers like building, you know, the sentry guns here, either here or here, or even worse. I know some engineers will just fucking put the sentry guns right there. And like they'll either put a sentry gun there to block you from getting to command point two, or this is where they'll be bu building their sentry guns to defend, or like, you know, you know, or like trying to stop people from getting to like, you know, command point three here. So there's a lot of opportunities for engineers to sign. There's a lot of opportunities for snipers to shine. There's a lot of opportunities for ev any class really to shine in this map. But it's going to be a, you got to watch your bearings here because there's a lot of opportunities for any class to get uh, get around to the enemy side and just fuck shit up. And when I like say that, if you go and build a debt pack, and this part here is a devil man, and blow this up. You will reset every single control point on the enemy's team and just absolutely put them into like a death spiral, which they're not going to be able to recover from real fast. Like it's possible, but basically, if a demo man does that, then they, like you know, you basically lost. So be really careful. I really think lighting-wise, this is really a nice little mini showcase of the gold source engine. Obviously, it doesn't have a lot of fancy co like colored lighting or anything like that, but you know, this is just some nice atmosphere. You know, people sometimes forget just, like, you know, how much, like, you know, the ambience of a, like, map can, like, you know, add to it. Even when it's just, you know, even when it's a multiplayer map like this. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention this. This is a great place to build teleporters right here. I think a lot of people forget about that. But if you want to have, like, a teleporter here as an engineer to, like, help your team either, like, you know, get over to the other, like, the enemy control points faster or even just to get to your sentries and stuff faster... Don't ever forget about those little, like, crate areas there. I'm gonna try Scout this time. I'm not a big fan of Scout in this game because, you know, the Medic, I feel, is pretty much superior in every way. But you can't argue with that speed, especially on this map. It's gonna make a world of difference. You see, even look at this. I've been brought down. I also don't feel the bots are doing a very good job at actually, you know, capturing the points like they're supposed to. Sigh! Well, one's trying. There you go. Well, I'll go this way then. See what I mean? If you get fall into the canals as a flight carrier, you have to get back out again. And there's a very good chance... Blop! There's a very good chance that, you know, you're going to get your ass shot at in the time it takes you to get out there. There we go. Have we really not captured the point, like, you know, point number five yet? Let me just lay some caltrops. Get out of here. Well, that guy was already weak anyway. He was begging to die. You know, I've been playing so many, like, you know, heavy weapons guys so much from the previous, like, Half-Life Deathmatch videos I did that playing a scout is, like, the exact... I'm, I'm actually, like, you know, not used to how much faster the scout goes. It's ridiculous. Come on, guys! What the hell are you doing? Goodness gracious. Like, seriously, dude, I saw one of the bots earlier with the flag. Why, he just keep on going to Albuquerque? What is this nonsense? Oh, Christ almighty. Also, always comp jump back up here. Save you some time. Even uh, kind of doing it weird like this. Oi! What do you think you're doing? Well, that was embarrassing. I did a really good job of defending that uh, control point. Yeah, see, conk jump, this is a great way to get to the, uh, command point one or five. It's to conk jump over there. Because a lot of times I don't think people, like, a lot of beginner players aren't expecting, uh, like, you know, people, like, the enemy team to come from that way. They'll be trying to, like, defend from, like, you know, this way. And they forget about, like, you know, the fact that I can just go from that way. Or, sorry, let me rephrase that. They're gonna expect you to be coming from this way or that way. But coming from this way just, I think, doesn't come out like, you know, a lot of beginner players. It doesn't, it just, it doesn't click with them. If that makes any sense. We got this, guys. We got, this is, this is ours. This is our fucking canal zone. Let's do this. I'm very disappointed by the lack of opposition here. Again, guys, come on. I don't know why we're not getting the... I don't know why we're not going out of our way to grab the easiest point ASAP. Because remember, you're slowly gaining points anytime you have a, like, you know, a capture point, you know, in the bag. 
So, you know, there's no reason not to get it right away because you're slowly gaining points. I probably should be conk jumping more to get to the flags faster, but I just, I feel like I'm too terrible at it. And I feel like I, I, I'm waiting for, like, the, the perfect moment. Don't follow me. I, I put down very mean caltrops. You don't want to come this way. Don't I have ouchies on your feet? Well, look at that, that, that fucking spy. I swear was trying to backstab that heavy there, but he like was like, he like dropped the knife or something because he was just standing there. He had like fucking, he was like standing there for like five seconds before I killed him. Like, what were you thinking? Were you waiting for him to notice you? That defeats the whole point of backstabbing someone, damn it. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. The, the, the blue team was surprisingly cool about me just kind of like walking this way. And again, they're not even capturing their own pay point. Are you people stupid? Oi! I, I really don't feel... Well, that, that was... I was about to criticize the blue team for not really understanding the concept of a defense. But yeah, then I just got yeeted across like, you know, across like a fucking state line. Oh well. You know, the sound of the door going doom, 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 doom does get a little bit old. I would have just not had the doors make any sound at all. It would have been like less, you know, realistic because, you know, doors tend to make noises when they close. But considering how much you're going through the spawn point, I mean, T TF2 did a better job with that kind of thing by making the sound quieter from what I remember, but still. You think they would have figured that out already? And yet, another control point that no one feels like grabbing, apparently. You know, it, that it would be a good idea to, to try to like jump across immediately just to bypass any traps down there. Unfortunately, I can't pull it off because I'm an idiot, so. Why are you putting a spray here? You die. Not The chance of an enemy player you're seeing that is nil. Doom, doom, doom. Doom, doom, doom. Again, you silly idiots. Capture your own damn point and be making some points.